In the depths of our sewer systems, an unlikely source of public health information exists, wastewater. Most U.S. households and businesses are served by municipal wastewater collection systems, and that's where CDC's National Wastewater Surveillance System comes in. By analyzing the contents of the wastewater flowing through these systems, scientists can test for specific infections and use genomic sequencing of the pathogens to detect the presence of certain infections at the community level, determine whether levels of infection are increasing or decreasing, and better understand how diseases move through and impact communities. One of the advantages of wastewater surveillance is that it doesn't depend on people going to the doctor or getting tested. Some people who are sick may not have any symptoms, or they may not feel bad enough to go to a doctor, or they might delay seeking treatment. Wastewater surveillance can still detect these infections in a community. CDC's Advanced Molecular Detection Program works collaboratively with the National Wastewater Surveillance System to drive innovation and research that allows us to apply cutting-edge genomic sequencing methods to address emerging public health concerns through wastewater surveillance. Today, I'll be showing you how we can capture the genetic material, the RNA, of the virus that causes COVID-19 in wastewater. We use the same or similar approach to detect other pathogens of interest or even markers of antibiotic resistance in wastewater. This is a model of the virus that causes COVID-19. Inside each virus, the genetic material, in this case RNA, represented by these beads. When people who are sick with COVID-19 use the bathroom, bits and pieces of viral RNA go into the wastewater system. For other pathogens, they can get into wastewater by washing hands, showering, or even washing clothes. Of course, when the viral RNA enters the wastewater system, it combines with a great deal of other material, such as human waste, animal waste, food scraps, soaps, various chemicals, not to mention lots of other pathogens, resulting in a varied mixture of liquid and solid waste. In other words, sewage. Additionally, the strands of genetic material degrade and break apart in wastewater, meaning you can't typically find and sequence the genetic materials of an entire virus. Using next generation sequencing, laboratories in CDC's National Wastewater Surveillance System can pinpoint just the pathogen or gene of interest we want to explore and essentially weed out all of the other stuff using targeted sequencing. So let's imagine this wand is a sequencer. It's going to sift through all of the things in this sample to pull out just a tiny piece of RNA that we're targeting to help us identify COVID-19. See how these line up? These targeted sequences match up with our gene of interest. With these data, we can answer questions about what infections are circulating in the community right now and if specific mutations are present. By repeating this sequencing across many samples, we can understand how long the infections have been in the community and if they're increasing or decreasing. With wastewater surveillance, we can look for early indications of a public health concern. Wastewater surveillance holds great promise as a pathogen screening tool and is an example of a unique new way that sequencing can be applied in public health. CDC is looking to expand wastewater surveillance to better understand and respond to other infectious disease threats. The Advanced Molecular Detection Program supports research into innovative sequencing methods like this, helps public health departments build the skill sets needed to use sequencing technologies, and supports critical bioinformatics pipelines to analyze this data. This is a great example of how CDC programs work together to build systems that support cross-cutting public health programmatic needs.